Hello, this is Joyce Not a Spring Chick Chow, and today we're going to be talking about Prince Charming. And a lot of it just has to be because we just came back from Comic Con, and one of the panels that I strategically sat through, I <laughs> say strategically, is like you have to plan in advance to be at the panel so you can make certain you get in and then get close enough so you actually can see the people other than just watching them on a huge screen. Um, is one of the panels I saw was Snow White and the Huntsman. And there happened to be two princes in two Snow White films opposite, well actually not, they used to be almost opposite each other. The two men I'm talking about is Army Hammer, who most of you have known from the social network, and the other is Sam Faflin, who you might have known from Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Pillars of Fire? Uh, Pillars of the Earth. Pillars of the Earth, yeah. Yes. But I have a feeling most of you probably know him from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, he was the missionary opposite the young mermaid. So part of it is, is who is, they always talk about who's the fairest of them all for women, so who's the most charming of them all? Army Hammer or Sam Claflin? Now Army I've met before when we were both younger, and I will tell you, he can be quite charming. He's also quite tall. I think um, Army's like about six foot five. Yeah, big guy. Yeah, and he plays opposite. Now, it used to be Emma Roberts. Now it looks like they may have had a cast change in Snow White. And since yesterday. <laughs> I know, Lily Collins, who's, this This is really new. Uh, so anyway, that's a, that's a whole, <laughs> a whole other issue as to why there's a cast change. Got, there's a reason behind this, but we can't tell you so. Yeah, right now we're going to focus on the princes. So part of it is the most charming of them all. Let's just say Army Hammer. Okay, so he played the twins in the social network. He's yeah. very tall, very good looking. What did, and six foot five. And he does have a sense of humor. Yeah, but like I said, she has, she knows, she's met Army Hammer. That's who I can talk about. So she can person. talk about him. You know, because she's not met him, she's not met him professionally. She's met him as, as the other side, the, you know, the, yeah, Pers she, personally? Yeah, personally, <laughs> and she's met him. Uh, she got some nice pictures from what was the... the uh, from the Golden Globe Party. From the parties. Golden Globe Party, where he's yeah. clowning around with her. Oh, yes, I looked at the picture and it looks like... Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he, because he, you know, he did remember from when they were both younger, so... Yeah, we can say we were reunited at the parties. He got, uh, <laughs> uh, put it this way, he got shocked. He said, you, you know, okay, here's the trick is, when she knew Army, he wasn't six foot five. And she didn't look like she looked in the, in the Golden Globes either. So, <laughs> he, so she both got a little, she's going, you know, he's way up there looking at him. And, and I'm then, going, Army, remember when? And then he's looking <laughs> at, basically there was a lot of leg in that outfit. So. But, yeah, so part of it is I know Army Hammer personally. <laughs> and, yeah. But I don't know Sam Claflin personally. The closest I was able to sit was, okay, he was up on the stage for the panel. Yeah. And I was second row back, actually, which was pretty good since the hall held 6,500 people, and I was second row from the front. And there happened to be a person next to me calling out people's names. Yeah. We happened to get a signature, an autograph from Kellen Lutz from the previous panel. Yeah. Know, can you believe that one? But she would like, you know, more, what this is all about, she'd like to do an interview professionally with both men yes. so that you could, ch you could decide for yourself who is the most charming. Oh, wouldn't that be fun watching them try to be charming? Because Sam, I'm looking at the new picture now. Part of it is is on Snow White and the Huntsman. You know, they talk about it being Snow White, right? So they've changed the picture since they just did the release at Comic Con. And Snow White, you think the picture that they put up would be Kristen Stewart because she's Snow White? Um, you she know, doesn't Twilight look series. really good in a suit of armor. But they put her in a suit of armor. Okay. But instead, they put up Prince Charming. Yeah, who right? is not Prince Charming anymore? I know. Well, actually, he looks like. Um, actually, he is. His title is uh, Prince Char Charmont. 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 And Army's title is, I think, Prince Andrew Alcott. But they're both bit of Snow White and Prince Charming. I know. And everybody knows that that this Prince Charming. Well, you know, see, part of it is, is okay. The problem for the 
because they're in pre-production. Yeah. They were actually supposed to come out about the same time, and now they've, they've kind of changed. Snow White and the Huntsman at Comic-Con just released the pictures. But part of it is I'm looking, Prince Charming looks... <laughs> He's looking very, um, very, uh, very British and uh, very British and knightly. Yes, but he's got that look. Yeah. No. But so, he, but he almost reminds me of James Franco in this picture. Yeah. And part of it is, is watching him up on the panel. It's like, yeah, he had a, you know, he had a sense of humor and he's laughing and and all of that. But you know, charming. Yeah. I don't know. We'd have to interview them both. We need them and interview. kind of let them. Okay, we already know they got the parts. Okay, Francis, what we like right? to do, we like to interview them each individually, then interview them together, and then they could, and, and then for the world, they, they, can, they could explain which one is more charming than the other. And people think, okay, Calif, Califan, Califan, uh, Califan. Who's Sam? I miss Calif. No. He's a Califan, it's a classic. I know, so, but um, uh, here's the trick is is that he is, uh, Army Hammer, even though he's tall, is actually smaller than the gentleman playing the uh, husband. Oh, and then Chris Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth, so. Yeah, because Chris has, like, bulk. Yeah, and, and, uh, and Califan has bulk. Mm -hmm. But Hammer is just tall and good looking. He, yeah, he's tall and lean, but he's not like, um, you know how they get geeky, geeky, scrawny, like just tall, lanky. Well, she he's not. She remembers a kid too, folks. What? She remembers he was a kid too, so. No, but he's he not. He was geeky and scrawny then. No, but he's, he's tall and he's not real bulky, but he's not real no. extremely lean but either. He's just a good you, size. You've got two you know? different types of the, you got, uh, you got a, uh, two different sides of the coin. Mm -hmm. One is tall, trim and athletic. The other is still tall mm -hmm. by Americans. He's taller than most of the American actors. Yeah, in fact, some of, yeah. He but is he is built most. sort of like a rock because mm -hmm. just go to Pirates and see rugby, the guy. I think he's a yeah, rugby player too. An athlete. But look, go to the Pirates and see him when he takes his shirt off. That is yeah. his solid body. That is mm -hmm. no fat, just like you know, he's got that body that, well, you know, like basically like a Sean Connery body. But I think his body's kind of going through some changes. He's growing. He just, well, he, part of he's growing, but they also did the Burberry shoot for the fall camp. And he had to basically get trimmer, and now he's bulking back up mm -hmm. for the thing. But no, it'd be interesting. Interview him separately, then bring them in together. And the both of them could then, why, I'm more charming than you are. You could they, have a lot. You could have a oh, lot of okay. fun with that. They got a sense of humor, both of them, which they means do. The they PR, both like to have fun. They are two different yeah. studios, but it could be a good PR thing for both studios. Which charming is more charming, even though none one of her name charming? I know. But you all know that They're this both is pretty princes. charming. One's an Alcott and one's a Charmant. Yeah. Right. I know. <laughs> I, I, okay. They, they're basically. I think Charmant means they've made it a French movie. Oh, that's right, because it's French Charmant. It's Charmant. Charmant. It's Almont. Uh, they're both French. Ah. And, you know, so, and the Brothers Grimm were, were Well, there is a Caesar and a Claudius. Yeah. Which, Which I always think of in a different time period. Caesar and Claudius would... And a Constantine. Okay. King Con... Which means they've dumped... Give us, uh, Caesar... Okay, Constantine came well after... Caesar, but what it looks is like they're doing uh, Hadrian's Wall in Great Britain. That's when the Romans con that's when the Romans controlled Gaul and um, and uh, and England. So Gaul would be France, which would explain the Chaumont and the Almont. So they're basically two sides of the same name. So, but but this this art we're tossing this out there. You know, she can come interview you guys in this suit. Or she can come, you know, in her business attire. <laughs> or she can come in the, or the this killer. This is, well, this is... Well, she dressed in her Academy Award. This is her Academy Awards outfit, folks. Mm -hmm. It only comes out for special occasions. But we just think it would be interesting. I think the two guys would probably think it was funny. Actually, they probably, yeah. And the that. PR people, you know, I, actually the PR people probably wouldn't have a, they wouldn't have an idea if you basically showed him to him in paper. So he got to go over the heads of the people to get somebody upstairs. Those out. have to be approved by the studio. Yes, because yeah. the PR people, like I said, the PR people fly it up a flagpole and see if it flies. They don't have flagpoles anymore, which means nothing flies. So, But this is just hit, 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 folks. Well, that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. So who, who, basically we'll let 
the people on YouTube decide who is the most charming. Yes. Army Hammer or Sam Claflin? Oh, actually, I should put it in reverse. Of course, I'm saying Army first because it starts with A. And, and the other starts with S. S. So we're going to say Army Hammer or Army or Sam or Sam or Army. Who's yeah, the which charming? one? And they'll, okay. they'll have to prove it to the people in YouTube. And the YouTube can vote. Who is the most charming? Ooh. And it can we can be a contest of good looks, of build. Okay, the height one by one is one. Charisma, personality. Charisma, yeah. They're both they're close to the same present. age. One has got more experience than the other, but one has been a hell of a lot bigger movies than the other. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. They each bring something to the table. But this is your chance. You've got to get the vote on who's the most charming. Who's the most charming?